Well, a high school known for supporting gay rights recently made history voting an openly gay male student prom queen, not prom king. And while many are supporting both the student and the school and electing him queen, some say the move isn't just morally wrong, but unfair as well. We report, you decide. Queen was something that I felt a connection with. Uh, it best suited my personality. Out of the closet and into the national spotlight, 18-year-old Sergio Garcia is the first man elected prom queen at Fairfax High. It's unusual and I think it's kind of cool. A lot of it, I believe, was a joke. I like it because we've never had a guy that's, you know, been a prom queen and I have a gay best friend. Fairfax is in West Hollywood, the largest gay neighborhood in L.A. and it's part of L.A. Unified a liberal school district even by California standards. There's a lot of gay, like little um, groups of gay people like Impact, and there's like the Straight Gay Alliance, and there's like like a whole bunch of other little groups, you know, for gay people. Weeks ago, Garcia saw posters asking for prom king and queen candidates. At first, he said, what a great stunt. Then friends supported his campaign, wearing pink tiaras around campus. I warned them that I wouldn't wear a dress. I warned them, I said that I would wear a suit. And that, but not to be fooled because deep down inside, I, I was a queen. While Garcia has been embraced by the gay community here, his reign as queen is not without critics who say his decision isn't about promoting diversity as much as it is about disrespecting tradition, basically mocking conventional attitudes about the role of men and women while depriving some of the female students here of their opportunity. Some people say it's not fair because uh, there were female running for a prom queen. Prom will get a little hectic because I think you start having gay dudes fighting straight girls and gay girls fighting straight dudes for who gets to run for prom king and queen. And to those who say that women are women and men are not, Garcia says, you're wrong.